Tammy and you're on my page called Tammy Loves Vintage and I am awful happy that you're here. I thought I would come on um, and show you guys just it won't be on here very long at all because um, I'm gonna have wet paint and there won't be anything that I can do but I thought I would come on here and show you um, an idea for your outdoor pillows. If you're like mine uh, if your pillows are like mine, this one's, they're not that bad once I brought them inside. I felt like they were getting kind of, kind of dirty, um, but actually they're really not bad. I've had these about three years. I put them out just in the summertime. I keep them in the basement in the winter. Uh, but anyway, so, so these are on my back porch, okay? And a lot of you guys are going to remember these uh, other ones that I'm about to show you. Here's the other. So these two are what I have on my back porch. Um, you know, I, you know, the pillows kind of revolve. If you're anything like me, um, you change out pillows. I have white furniture on my back porch, so the pillows are an easy thing to change to just have a whole new feeling out there. Okay, so on the same idea as those pillows, years ago, probably, I don't know. Oops, I got them a little bit wet. Well, I'm going to leave it. Um, probably, I don't even know. I'm going to say four years ago, could be three, could be six, who knows, you know how time flies and you lose track. Anyway, years ago I had these um, Sumbrella uh, pillows that had really gotten dirty and um, really yucky, and so I thought just for fun, I would try painting them. You guys, I painted, there's three pillows here, I painted them, now they're the turquoise on both sides, I've been, I've been repainting today, um, but anyway, so I've been painting them with Country Chic uh, paint. And now you guys, I used the original formula, not even the good formula. And um, this one, you really can't tell, but I was, I was tired of them. Number one, I'm a terrible painter, like art sort of painting. Um, let me see here. I know one of these looks a lot worse than the, than the others. So you guys can see, um, yeah, can you, you can kind of see some of the, like there, some of the cracking and stuff. Uh, but really, all in all, it's in pretty good shape. Um, you can hear it, uh, it. You can hear it. It sounds a little more plasticky than fabric once it's painted. But I think it's a really. Oh, I got to be careful. This is still a little bit wet. Um, it's a really great way to change up your pillows. I think if you're going to uh, be using them you know, like I do on my back porch every day, it might not be as great, but if they're just like for looks, like they're on my front, um, because the, the front of my house gets direct sunlight and it's so hot and so bright out there that we really only enjoy it in the mornings or at sunset. Um, so we really spend the most of the time on the back porch. So these were really just for looks because the sun was so intense. Um, I, I hate to keep buying pillows every year because they get so faded out. So I thought I'd try painting them. So that's what I did. And um, so I did, let's see here. I did different kinds of daisies um, like that. And, and I've had them forever, you guys, forever. And then here was a third one. Oh, and it was just more daisies like that. So, and then on this other side, I had painted, I tried my hand on a couple of birds on branches. The birds weren't so bad, but the branches were not very good. So anyway, um, these are still a little bit wet. I wanted to show you guys like the whole process, but it's, it's really hard when you've got wet paint and I needed to flip them over. So um, yeah, see, I still, I'm still wet. So, oh, I'm really wet. I'm still wet over here too. Hang on a minute. Let me, let me wipe my hands off. So all I wanted to show you was I did one coat. Now I can't remember, I wanna say originally, I probably did two coats of paint only because um, the fabric is thirsty so it would really drink up the paint. But now that I'm doing like a whole new paint over it, um, one coat, I did one coat of paint and then I did the polka dots. And I just did the polka dots with this little uh, foam dauber. I just dipped it in the paint um, and then pressed it right onto the pillow and dip it in the paint, press it on the pillow, and you spin it a little bit to get the perfect circle. And so I did two polka dots and then I did this pumpkin. Now don't look too close because I'm not an artist, but it's okay. It's okay for me on a front porch that nobody's gonna see. So anyway, um, I thought I would show you just, I mean, if you, if you don't believe me that I'm painting them, I mean, here's my, hang on, there's my paint. <laughs> 
in my brush and I'm going for a green background this time instead of the turquoise. Uh, my front door is green. It's a Sherwin-Williams color, I believe. Um, I think it's called Leapfrog or it's in that Leapfrog family. <coughs> and I have just beige uh, vinyl siding house, nothing fancy. And so I thought I'd pop the door. I have black shutters and white, you know, white trim. So um, really, you know, usually your house has three colors. So those are my three colors is the um, tan, black, and white. But I thought it would be fun to pop my front door with a little bit of color. And I've had it. It's been all kinds of colors over the years. But I really like this leapfrog color. It keeps it kind of a, uh, kind of a neutral um, I mean, like I could put any color of pillows that I wanted with the green door, um, but I thought I would go kind of matchy with my door just because I'm so far from the road. No one can really see it anyway. They're really just for me. Um, so I'm just, uh, I bumped a polka dot here on that corner <laughs> where that is. But see how well, so this Country Chic Paint does a really great job. And I just thought I'd let you guys know this and know that I still have a lot of Country Chic paint left from when I had my shop. So if by chance any of you have outdoor pillows and you want to give this a try, now they are on a porch, okay, they are covered on a covered porch, not, no, no, uh, I mean it's just covered overhead and it does get, I mean it gets all of the heavy rain and all of the, um, you know, the, uh, snow and ice and all that stuff and I just leave these out there. I don't really bring them in because I don't really care about them. I was kind of getting tired of them. So when they they're like almost indestructible indestructible, I guess. So I thought, well, I'm they're not dying, so I thought I'm going to bring them in and just redo them so that I just feel like I have a new a whole new look. Um I'll do something different on the other side of the pumpkin. I think I'll keep the polka dots. That was easy, and for someone that's not very artistic like me, um, you know, I mean, we all have our talents, right? And I know I follow Kelly Weiler, a girl upcycled, and she's quite the artist. I actually I follow a lot of uh, of artists, um, and. I know everybody says, "Oh, you're an artist. You're not." I am not an artist. I can't. I can't paint a person or a tree. I can't paint anything to make it look real. Like, I just don't have that. I don't know. I just don't have it. So, and I never have. And I probably never will. But, well, never say never, right? Never say never. But anyway, um, this kind of painting I can do, right? And I can paint polka dots. And I can halfway paint a pumpkin. And I can paint some daisies. They are childish daisies and not real looking. But, um... You know, there's that. I'm in Kelly's uh, classes to teach you how to paint, but I never have time to sit. I never make time to sit and learn from her. So anyway, but isn't it weird to be painting a pillow? Isn't that just so weird? I know. That's why I wanted to come on and show you guys. I'll answer your questions and comments here in just a minute. I always like to do my thing first so that anybody that, you know, wants to see what I'm doing. You don't have to wait for all the chatter for me to get going. And uh, maybe they'll have a little bit of dry time and maybe I can show you how to do some polka dots here. But that's it. So I just painted all of the blue. I painted over all of the blue. You guys would just paint right over your, um, your pattern. Where's my knot? So like this is kind of what I started with. And then I painted them. Um, let me put this back over here to dry. I painted them um, like this, you know, a few years ago, and then now I'm just ready for a change, so I'm repainting them to green from the turquoise. But I started with just outdoor pillows like this, okay? Um, and I'm really pushing them. They're not quite dry, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of touch-ups um, where I'm handling them. Um, you can see, like see, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of sticking to my hand, but that's fine, I can touch it up once it dries here tonight, but I've, I've kind of been showing Instagram. If you guys, uh, I don't know if you guys are on Instagram, but I've been trying to do stories. I post pictures every day over there. Um, I'm, I, uh, you can do them really, you can do the stories really quickly. So I kind of um, am trying to figure out how to do it. You've got like, what is it? 
is it 30 seconds or a minute? I don't even know. You have this little circle. You have to hold down on the button and you have this little circle and when it runs out, you're done. So <laughs> I guess you can keep going with it. I don't know how to do it. And my daughter, Abby, she showed me like three times and I'm, I guess I'm not really listening enough, intently enough. And it's like, I think I got it. And then she leaves and I'm like, I guess I don't have it. <laughs> I don't dare ask her again because she's like, mom, I've told you this a hundred times. <laughs> I'm not telling you again. So, <laughs> so uh, if you're on Instagram and you catch me over at Tammy Loves Vintage, just please laugh with me and <laughs> know that eventually I will master it. Just, well, I can't say I've mastered Facebook, but at least I, I kind of know how to do it, right? I <laughs> kind of have figured it out. So I have to do it over there. I have to figure out Instagram. So I've been trying. I've been more faithful over there actually than here. I think honestly. Um, but yep, I'm just gonna continue to paint these pillows. And um, like I say, if you guys need any country chic paint, message me. I have every color you could imagine. I can send you pictures of, you know, if there's certain colors that you want. Um, I've been discounting the paints. Since I've closed my store, I do not need the quantity of paint that I have here at the house. So I'm very happy to send you guys some. I have all sizes of most colors. So um, there you go. This one's called Rustic Charm. If you'd like to order from the website, you sure can. You can go right directly to Country Chic Paint and just order it that way. Um, or you can order it from me and I'll give you a little... I'll give you a good deal because I got a lot. Um, but yeah, I wish I, I tried to figure this out to where I could show you guys, you know, how to paint the pretty part, you know, paint something pretty. But then I thought, I can't paint. I can't even paint anything pretty. So even if I come on here to show you <laughs> something pretty, it'll probably be a disaster. So <laughs> I just started messing with that pumpkin and it turned out pretty good. So I thought, well, I'm gonna keep going and I thought about these polka dots so I thought I'm gonna give them a try well then they went so fast and they were so fun I thought well I'll save them a couple and show them how I did it and then before I knew it I just did it and was all done so I didn't save any to show you guys um, but I am going to do more polka dots so if if someone comments that they want to see the polka dots I can come back on as soon as this dries and show you how to do it it's so easy you're gonna laugh you're gonna be like, oh, that's all there is? Um, actually, I could show you here. Let's just do this. Why don't I just show you really quick? Um, hmm, what can I do it? Uh, okay, I'm just thinking how I can do that. How can I show you guys? We'll figure it out here. Okay, let me put this one down. I'm just gonna do it on top of this one before I start painting it. How about that? Let me put this down. Isn't that weird? You paint your pillows? But you can. Um, let me, I've got a little bit of sprinkle hair on my counter. Okay, so, um, all right, let's just, I know, I've got it figured out. Here we go, I've got it figured out here. Okay, I'm going to, let's see, I'll show you here how to do it. So I'm just taking this pouncer, it's just a foam on a stick, and I'm just dipping it into the paint, um, stirring it around here. And so now I'm loaded on there. You see, it's not super thick. Yeah, it's not super thick at all. And then what you do is you just put it down and spin it like that and lift it up. And then see how I didn't get it quite perfect down there at the bottom. So I just go back in and try again. Well, it's not perfect, is it? I'm not straight on it. I'm trying another one. That's how you do it. Oops, that, it's not as good. If you do it on a hard surface, it's not as wrinkly. This is kind of giving a little bit, but I think it's fine. I think it's happy. It's a happy polka dot. So you just dip again whenever you feel like you need to and go at it again. And when you press, you just spin it, press and spin. And that's how you do polka dots. So <laughs> I can't say those are the best polka dots in America, but they work fine for an outdoor pillow, right? Keep it, keeping it happy. So anyway, that's all I have. Um, I just thought I'd show you guys really quickly. Yeah, see, I've got, I've got some smears on there, but um, we'll be able to fix it up. And, and they're just going out front where nobody even comes to my front door to even see them. So 
not a big deal. So anyway, let me see if you guys have any questions. Uh, it looks like comments are coming through. Let me pull you over here a little bit closer so I can see. Um, hey, Tater Beth, hi. Hi, friend. Gosh, it's been a while since I've been on here. Things are even a little different. For some reason, they've got me down here in the corner. I can see myself. Um, and where I post was different. It was really weird. Hey, Rebecca, thanks for joining me. Hello, hello. Thanks, Rebecca. Yeah, I don't know if you girls remember me doing these pillows. Oh, there's my mom. Hi, mom. Uh, Nancy Simpson Brewer, that's my mom. She remembers me painting these pillows before. I know she caught me a long time ago. It's been years, years and years and years. Let me see. Oh, it's offering me to bring people on camera. Oh my gosh, that's what Abby and I were really wanting it to do. I'm fogging up. That's what Abby and I have been really wanting to do. This is all different. This is so cool. But is it letting me bring everybody on? No, not. it's not offering that to everybody. Isn't that interesting? Hi, Darlene. So it doesn't look like I've got any questions. Uh, oh, what you paint, you paint. Well, oh, thank you, Rebecca. It's just not an artist kind of paint. That's. I really wish I could do that. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. But thank you. Uh, you can also antique them and then seal it. Yes, but I you I could antique them. You're right. I could rub some um, some wax over it. Although the wax in the hot sun, I'm not sure how. I'm not sure how well that wax would do. So I'd probably have to glaze them. They don't need it, and they don't need any any sealing. I did not seal them. I just painted them last, well, I don't even know how many years ago it was, and I never put a sealer on them. I just put them straight outside, and they've been perfect. So it's been, it was easy. But no, I did not, I mean, you can, yes, you can, but it's just, I just didn't need to. Um, thank you, Marla. It is a good idea. You like the color? Thank you, Rosetta. I liked the other color. I just kind of got tired of it. Um, I'm using Country Chic Paint Cheryl. If you need any, message me and I can give you some prices. Um, tell me what color you're interested in and I'd be happy to um, show share it with you. Mary Beth, I'm using Country Chic. Um, it's out of Canada. I have a huge inventory of it. And I have loved it for years and years and years, since 2013. Tell Abby your brain is older than hers. <laughs> have patience and give you grace. That's right, Rebecca. It's just new. New technology just kind of freaks me out. I don't know if you guys are like that or not, but I've got my posting down, but I don't have my stories down. And I just did, um, I just took like a little, uh, um, I've signed up for a class. It starts next Thursday about Instagram. So I'm hoping that helps me. Um, but they had a little preview last night and I was watching it and they want you to post um, twice a day pictures, which I've only been doing once a day. And then they said you should be doing stories 10 times a day. I don't do that at all, so I'm gonna have to work on it. Thank you, Ruth, for sprinkling. I appreciate that. Um, I don't know how great this one was, but yeah, that was all the questions. So anyway, you guys, I just thought I, I just thought it was something different that not everyone was doing, and that you didn't even maybe know that you could do that. And I just thought if your pillows are yucky, rather than taking them to Goodwill or go to Goodwill and pick up some yucky ones, you know, or go to a thrift shop and grab some cheap pillows. And paint them how you want them. And uh, yeah, because I showed you my pumpkin. I mean, my pumpkin's not great, but uh, I'm happy with it. Upside down. I'm happy with it. It looks like a pumpkin. And I'll just flip it around when it's not fall. And I'll paint. I think I'm going to do some day, like the daisies because I know I can do that. You just paint, paint a gold circle in the middle. I mean, seriously, you paint a gold circle in the middle. You add uh, brush strokes to make the little petals and then black polka dots for the middle. It's, you know, I can do that. <laughs> I can do that. And that's a happy pillow from a distance when I'm watering flowers out there or sweeping the porch or whatever. That's all I need, just some color, I suppose. So anyway, you guys, thank you for watching. Make sure no other questions came in. Nope, I don't see any. So um, thank you for watching. And I'm sorry I haven't been on. What else was I doing? Oh, I Today was a big day. Well, I helped my husband pull um, weeds um, when he got home from work. We pulled all of the, you know, my lily of the valley and the irises and all of the ferns and everything that was going to die here in the cold because it's just starting to get in the 30s. So, um, but anyway, I asked him to help me. Um, Julie and I, my friend Julie and I are working on, we found uh, some 
and items for Janky to Swanky. And you guys, I've talked, so you guys that follow me know about Janky to Swanky, and it's on our, on our Instagram page. We have an Instagram page together. You can see the stories there. It's called Our Vintage Treasuries. We don't post there very much. Um, but anyway, it was our um, Janky to Swanky project. So what it is, we, this is our third one we're gonna be doing. We go shopping together, and we find something that's kind of, um, hi Jenny. Hey, thanks for jumping on. I've been painting pillows. Um, oh, let's see. I've seen a couple messages here. Let me see. Uh, uh, have a good day, Rebecca. You too. Let me see. Love the pumpkin pillow. Thank you, Kathy. Just don't look too close at it. It's okay from a distance, right? Um, you made good. Oh, thank you. I think the pumpkins are, or the polka dots are going to lay nice with the pumpkins. Um, anyway, so, uh, let's see for who said they just jumped on now. I forget who it was. I was saying Hi, Darlene. Thank you. Let's see. Oh, somebody else jumped on. Let's see who Oh, there it was Joan. Joan. So yeah, I'm painting polka dots on my outdoor pillows my old outdoor pillows that are tired and yucky I'm painting them with my country chic paint, which I have tons of inventory if you guys need any let me know and then I painted one of them, I put a pumpkin on it. And so there, I'm painting the other sides now. I did these years ago, and then I have more polka dots. I did these years ago, and I just got tired of them. So um, I had daisies and little birds. Um, yeah, I had daisies on one side and birds on the other, and I'd flip them around every which way. I didn't, I didn't even show you the birds. They are not good. If you want to see them, you go back. Look back on my videos and you'll find them. It's there for sure. Anyway, let me talk about Janky to Swanky real quick. So we follow this page, um, Design Central Project on Instagram and um, Farm Shenanigans. And Wesley and I can't think of this. He calls her Central. I can't think of her name. Anyway, um, they go shopping for some weird, something weird. Um, and then they give it like, like if I find, um, what can I find? Um, I don't see anything really handy here. Okay. So I find this crushed up, uh, bottle of paint, right? And so I'm like, this is going to be my janky option, my janky thing. So then the other one goes shopping for something janky and then they switch. So then they both, they have to fix up their janky item to be something awesome that they, you know, something swanky that they would keep in their house. So anyway, let me put you down so you guys don't have to look at me. So anyway, um, Julie and I, we've loved watching them do their thing, um, their janky to swanky challenges, but it, it's hard because sometimes one gives something nicer than the other one, or, you know, once it's like, sometimes it's really not good. And it's like, what the heck are they going to do with that? And I mean, I get it that that's the fun part of it, but you're supposed to put it in your house and keep it in your house. And so, yeah, I'm just a little more fussy with my house, I suppose. And so is Julie. So she said, why don't we, I got goobers in this paint. I've had it open forever. <laughs> anyway, she says, why don't we do this, but we have to buy the same item. So we have been shopping and when we run across something that there's two of, which is kind of hard in the antique world, but sometimes we'll find two of something. And so then we don't tell each other what we're gonna do with them. And you know, we have both loved every single thing. Well, we've only done two things, but we have loved both projects. I know I've shown you guys here before the projects, but so we just were shopping up in, uh, where did we get these? Yeah, we were in Amish country. We went up to work on our, on our booth in Millersburg at the Antique Emporium. We're booth number 36 upstairs. We have our own little room. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> and we do the windows anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you get a little plug for the Millersburg Antique Emporium. So anyway, um, we we were shopping then on in, I think we were in Berlin maybe. I don't think we'd made it clear to Sugar Creek. Anyway, am I getting this all over my shirt? Anyway, we found some spindles, some really awesome twisted up spindles and Julie really wanted to do Janky to Swanky with it. And I'm like, I have no idea what I could possibly do 
with these spindles, but I'll tell you what, I finished my project today and I cannot wait for the unveiling. I cannot show you guys, I can only tease you about it because um, we do an unveiling live on our page here. She doesn't have a page, so we just do it here on my page. Um, and we'll, like, she'll come here and I'll unveil mine and then I'll drive over to her house and we'll go live again and we will, I don't know if we do it live, I think we just record it. Um, Cause then we put it all together for, for the stories. But anyway, it's been fun and uh, I love what we've, what we've done so far. I thought this was gonna be my worst one, but uh, I like it equally. <laughs> I think I think I really like it a lot and I'm excited to um, share it. But isn't that a cute idea? It's called Janky to Swanky. If you have a girlfriend, um, you should try it. You should try the challenge. And um, I really like how we do it um, a lot. Not Nothing against how they do it. I mean, their way is what sparked our, um, our doing it. But what a fun thing. We, um, we're shopping. Whenever we see two of anything, we'll say, would this be a janky to swanky? And then we both kind of think about it for a little while. And in this case, they were just spindles that had twists in them. And we thought, well, even if we can't come up with anything swanky, they're pretty cool spindles, so we'll figure something out. But uh, so I texted her today and told her I just finished mine. I've had it a couple weeks. I know she's been doing some cutting and messing around with hers because she was real proud that she used the saw. Her husband was out of town, and so she got his miter saw out and was cutting by herself. <laughs> she was proud of herself. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, um, I know she's been working on it, but I don't think she's finished um, yet. So as soon as we're done, I will definitely be sharing our newest Janky to Swanky. And um, I could, uh, I don't, I've got my cord on my light. I don't think I can get through, but um, we bought two table legs once and they were hooked. You know, they were like the underneath brace of the table and then it had a leg on each end with the brace in the middle. So her husband cut them in half. So we got a leg with a brace. That was one of our janky to swankies. And then the other one was this, it kind of looked like a, I always thought it looked like a burner that went down in a kerosene heater or something with wire legs on it. And um, let's see, so back up out of the table leg, I made like a shelf thing, um, put a caster in the, in the, like in the bottom of the table leg and I made a really cute shelf thing and love it, added some trim to it and, and stained it and painted it. And then uh, she made a lamp, a really cute lamp. I love it. And um, she used like a, a egg basket for the shade and she painted it and aged it and all that. It looked beautiful. And then um, the, the burner thing, I made a hanging light that hang, it just comes out of the, I had a piece of wood and I put a real pretty um, like metal hanger and then it hangs down and I put a light up in it and then I put some magnetic uh, glass beads on it and so that hangs in my foyer and Julie made a tree stand. So it, a Christmas tree stand. So, and it's so cute. And she did this, like she made this fabulous tree also. And uh, well, I think she bought the tree, but she, she made these little um, antique looking uh, ornaments out of pipe cleaners and hooked them on her tree. And so it was all handmade. So it was beautiful. So anyway, she still loves both of hers. I still love both of mine. And now I can tell you, I'm going to love this one just as much. Um, kind of got it over there ready to, uh, finish, finish, but I kind of did a try to run with it and I love it. So yay. I can't wait to show you guys, but I, I'm not, I can't show you now just in case, because every once in a while she catches a video. So I don't want her to see it or I'd give you a sneaky, a sneaky peeky, <laughs> but I'm not going to. So let's see if I had any more questions come in. Oh, Leota, you have a good day as well. Thank you so much. Um, your best friend doesn't do uh, she doesn't do arts and crafts. She loves to shop. Oh, Joan, that's too bad. That's too bad. It's, you really got to be creative. Hi, Lucretia. You really got to have someone that's, that's creative and into all of this stuff. And we just happen to hit it off that way. So anyway, you guys, thank you for watching. Um, <clears throat> I think these are still too wet to, oh yeah, they're way too wet. I've got my hair dryer right here. I've been, I've been drying it, trying to push them along, but I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch paint dry with me. Um, you wouldn't be able to hear me talk and all of that. So if by chance um, any of you order paint from me and you give this a try, 
I usually sand it after it's all dry. Before I do anything else, I'll give it a quick sanding just to get off any, you know, um, cat hair or whatever that might be on here or any little thing that might have been in the paint. I'm using, old, you know, I'm using paint that I've had open for a while, so I've contaminated it when we had classes and stuff. So um, it's not like you guys are going to get a brand new can, but um, it's not like going to be like mine. But just in case you maybe leave your pan lay and you get some goobers in it, just sand it real gently just to knock anything off. And then you could give it just a quick dry brush wherever it needs it. And then you've got your background. Then all you gotta do is paint your flowers, your polka dots or whatever you wanna do. And you can update your old, dirty, tired pillows outside. Have a great day. Thanks for watching you guys. Bye-bye.